Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. We're going to take up the Bayhawk 50 millimeter from Arrows. Now I'm going to take off in safe mode, or their version, well, they call it safe, it's stabilized for them. I'm going to run a new, now I'm not advising you to run a 4S because it's not rated for a 4S, but I've got plenty of cooling over that ESC and we're going to do, we're going to try it on 4S. I got a RC Hackers uh, 1500 100C 4S in there. And uh, same play, same battery that Ryan, uh, Brian Phillips put in his uh, L39 when he did the maiden on that, on the second flight on it. But we're going to take off in stabilized mode. I like, and then our uh, safe, and, and uh, but I'll switch to AS3X once I get to flying. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see if safe trying to autocorrect. All right, timer set for three and a half minutes. Motor's on. I'm not going to run her all the time full speed because I don't want to burn that ESC up because, like I said, she's not rated for uh, for us. Oh, kind of nervous. She has to get up on deck. There we go. This plane will want to... Time remaining, three minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah. You lost her? Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to fly her super fast right off the bat. Let me get used to her. Very locked in plane. That's only quarter, quarter throttle right there. Now half, now I'm going to goose it. Yeah. Whoa. I've definitely got that battery back some. That way it was fit. Um, so she's flying kind of tail heavy, but that's okay. With a jet, that just helps with your landing. You just don't want to be too tail heavy. All right. Nice little jet. Now come back towards us. Now, if you're watching my films and my precious loses the plane for a few minutes, for a few seconds, that's okay. I just edit that part out. All right, let's land it. Maybe. All right. Go bigger. Now that's one problem with the belly uh, lander. You <laughs> kind of have to walk and get her, and that's okay. Fat guy could use the exercise. Let's try something. I got a four. I'm sorry to put my butt in your face. Let's try something and see if this can do it. Like the new Avanti that's coming out that I should have soon, this has the plastic protection on the underside, so actually the plane is sitting off the deck. If you've got a hard surface like this Geotech, let's see if we can actually take off like a traditional plane. Let's just see if we can do it. But just remember, as soon as she clears, you're going to have that immediate let go effect and she might, you know, rock to one side or the other. I don't know if this will work or not, but we'll see. Nope. See, I don't have any rudder. I don't have any yaw authority. If I go that way, let me try going towards the northeast with the wind. Because she's actually going to weather vane towards the wind anyways. Let's try it that way. This may or may not work, but hey, we'll try it. She got enough power. All right. 
Yeah, let's just see if it does. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not going to do that again. I'm going to tear the plane up. So let's not do that. But we tried. Can't say we didn't try. Now you could probably do a bounce and go. But this light little plane, solid construction, ain't going to be no damn. Nah, it's fine. All right. Try this again. You know Much better. I think what it is, I think I'm hitting a stick. When I go to re regain control, I think I'm hitting a stick or something. A little slow roll there. That's a nice locked in little plane. All right. A little high. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, she's locked in real well. Kill my airspeed. Kill them airspeed. Out of the power now. And there we go. Well, folks, let's take a look at this battery and kind of get a little sense idea of the temperature. Flew for a solid three minutes. Well, I didn't have those weird landings, but let's see how things feel. All right. Someone was asking me if they had uh, air scoops in the back, and they don't. Battery's a little, just barely warm. Not feeling really any ambient heat come off the ESC. Now, I think we're fine. Just don't run on this 4S. Plenty of power to get yourself out of trouble. I just think that uh, that's a 1500 right there if you can see that and uh it's a good placement yeah i think a 4s is fine just don't run full blast the whole time and uh, you'll be all right but there, the power is there in case you need to get up out of trouble well there you go folks that is the hobby zone the hobby zone one who sells it it's the arrows brand bayhawk uh, 50 millimeter edf good flying little plane um, if you use, I'll put a link in the video description, a purchase link. If you go and you buy it and you put it in your, your, uh, your basket, if you put in FGFRC, Fat Guy Flies RC, FGFRC in the coupon field, you can take $10 off the price and it's $159, so it becomes $149. And hey, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. And that code will work on any FMS plane at Hobby Zone using that link and any Arrows plane at Hobby Zone using that link. So if you decide you want to buy that 80 millimeter Rafal, you can take 10 bucks. I mean, 10 bucks is what? A gallon and a half of gas? So, hey, you know, there you go. It helps me out, helps you out. You get a good plane, you save a little bit of money, and yeah, I do get a commission. I, I On Hobby Zone and Arrows products, I get a commission. I ain't lying to you. Um, the only thing I wish about this plane is like I wish in all planes, I wish it had lights but that would bring the price up and also the difficulty and it would have to be a little bit bigger and then the price and then you just go from there so this is meant or i wish it had a rudder too um 
But that's the whole point of these little toss and boss planes. You just throw them in the back of your car, go out the field, throw them in the air, have a little bit of fun, go home. You know, it's meant to keep it simple. Something you can fly pretty quick and pretty reliably in a small place like a baseball field or diamond, uh, football field, AMA park pre preferably. But good looking little plane, good flying. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, we didn't see how much is left in the tank, did we? Gotta do that. It's one of my promises to my viewers that I will check the battery and tell people how much I got left. 52%. Half the battery's still there. So that's good. All right. Y'all have good? Bye-bye.